What are the six most hardworking zodiac signs according to astrologers? We're gonna be looking at this article from Yahoo. Spoiler alert, they only name six. I think that's offensive. If that's not reductivist astrology, I don't know what is. The reason I wanna look at this article in pop astrology, it's really interesting to look at, is to analyze where where this reductive astrology can take us. Most people don't know generally that we're more than one sign. We know our sun sign, it's really easy to figure it out. What we need to remember is that we are all the zodiac signs and some of us have much more energy in one sign or another. Now the most important zodiac signs that are gonna come through the most strong in your personality and your experience, number one is your rising sign because that's how you present to the world. Number two is probably Probably going to be your sun sign because that is that furnace of nuclear energy that's coming through us. I look at the sun as foundational. The third is going to be the moon. Now, depending on if you're a night or a day birth, the moon might be more important to you. If you're a night birth, it might be more something that you relate to than your sun sign. Your moon sign relates to your emotions, your body, your daily experience, how you nurture and how you want to be nurtured. So when we have a really narrow pinpoint on a zodiac sign, you do get a lot of good information for the archetype of the zodiac sign. That being said, number six, according to this article, is Gemini. They say that Gemini is the most scattered zodiac sign. I think that's offensive. You might be surprised to see Gemini on the list. I think that's also offensive. But according to Charlotte Kristen, their hardworking nature comes from being frazzled, likely from taking on too many things at once. Now, if you do have strong Gemini, you might relate to that. You might resonate with that. Gemini has a need for self-expression, for curiosity. I feel like it's Alice in Wonderland chasing the white rabbit. That's very Gemini. Just a rabbit with a waistcoat and a walk. Oh my goodness. And what's this going on here? And what's going on here? And this is all different. This is all new. This is interesting. This is interesting. That's more of a Gemini uh, attribute. It means there's more curiosity. He's curious. There's more rabbit holes to travel down. And sometimes it might take longer to come back up out of the, the rabbit holes. They're great in team settings as they're ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. Yes, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And yes, they are very communicative, very intelligent, very fast, quick-witted, quick thinking. But I think that it's important to note that that doesn't have anything to do with working hard or not. Each zodiac sign works hard in a different way. So Gemini works hard to find out the answers, like a reporter, works hard to keep the curiosity going, continue the learning process and communicate what they learn. Coming in at number five on the hardest working list is Scorpio. They say mysterious and secretive Scorpio likes to know everything about everyone many times so that they can use it for their own good. They'll spend hours researching a coworker to figure out how to come one up them for a promotion. Oh man. I mean, yes, I would definitely say Scorpio is the detective of the Zodiac. Hard working to figure out the answers beneath the BS layer that is on top of everything. Scorpio goes straight to the point. It's very intense. It's very driven by the truth. That piece of you, everybody has, and some have more Scorpio, and especially if you're a Scorpio rising, you know what I'm saying. You know I'm telling the truth, that there's just this direct link to the the answer that you want to find and you will work hard in order to strategically figure things out. The sign coming in fourth for the hardest working zodiac sign is Taurus. Now Taurus is known for being reliable. That translates to getting work done. The sign is usually taking their time to move forward in an extremely methodical approach. Don't mistake their slower pace for a lack of ambition. They're determined and persistent and have sustenance to get it done. Uh, I would say this is a pretty good representation of the Taurus energy. Now, if you have Taurus rising, Taurus sun, Taurus moon, this is a little bit more on, on point. The Taurus energy can also be very focused on creating material stability. So that makes a lot of sense that they're saying that a Taurus would be a harder worker of the Zodiac. But like I said, we all have Taurus in our chart somewhere. So that's where we're more dedicated, able to work passionately, but methodically and in a structured way. Coming in number three for the hardest working Zodiac signs is Aries. Nothing can stop these born leaders from accomplishing their goals. Kristen likens Aries to the hardworking, passionate and slightly demanding office boss. She explains that because they're ruled by straight shooting Mars, they know exactly what they want and how to go after it. These audacious rams thrive on opportunity and will take anything that even inches them closer to achieving their dreams and ambitions. Okay, 
the Aries energy, if you have a lot of Aries energy, you might find that you have a lot of energy to start things, but maybe not so much to keep things going or something else might interest you. The Ram wants to climb the mountain, right? So there's many mountains to climb. Coming in number two is Virgo. Virgo is a hardworking, data-driven, analytical earth sign, according to Kristen, who calls them the true busy bees of the zodiac. And while these intellectuals accomplish a lot, they don't need recognition like other signs. Ahem, <laughs> Leo. Aganza says that they are a behind-the-scenes micro-worker who keeps the entire ecosystem in check, but no one knows it is them who did it. If you ever tried to get your Virgo significant other to log off for the evening, you know how difficult disconnecting can be. Ooh. <laughs> Coming from a Virgo sun with a lot of planets in Virgo, I would say some of this is true. Working hard to accomplish and doing things the right way is really important to the Virgo energy, but it doesn't mean that a Leo wouldn't be doing that too. Let's say somebody's a Leo, but they have their Mercury in Virgo and their Virgo rising or they have a Virgo moon. I mean, so that's what I'm trying to say is that you can't just Ahem, Leo on them because maybe that Leo person has a big personality and wants to be out there in the world and be expressive, but also they have a lot of Virgo placements and they're really hard workers as well. I do not agree that every Virgo would love diving deep into the nitty gritty details of a research paper. No. Or the complex problem. Those two things, maybe research sounds a lot to me more like Scorpio energy that wants to research deep and deep and deep and deep. And I think complex problems can be more Aquarius. All right, coming in at number one on our list is shocking revelation. It's Capricorn. Three out of the six of this list are definitely earth signs that those are the hardest workers of the Zodiac. It's no surprise for Capricorn that these dedicated go-getters are as hardworking as they come. As masters of self-discipline, level-headed sea goat infuses strict paternal energy into everything they do. Capricorns will never miss a deadline. In fact, they're more likely to submit early and will not settle for anything less than perfect. This is because they're ruled by Saturn, the planet of responsibility, which makes them obsessed with order and commitment. Okay, yeah. Uh, Capricorn, straight Capricorn energy is definitely related to Saturn and it has a lot of commitment, but it also has a lot of structure. Capricorn does persevere. This is true. I think verifiably, like if you lined all of the zodiacs up and were just going by their straight, pure energy, definitely Capricorn would be up there number one. That being said, the Capricorn energy is really about goal setting. It's about pursuing. It's about getting things done. If you have a lot of strong Capricorn placements, this would probably resonate with you that, that you, yes, you are going to be a hard worker. We have six zodiac signs that are not even represented except for the dig on Leo <laughs> as being a show off or whatever. But that means we have no representation of cancer as being a hard worker. BS. I would say cancer is a hard worker for making sure everybody is okay, nurturing that energy. The cancer energy is somebody who wants to make sure that history is preserved. I know Leos that are the hardest working people that you can imagine. Do they like to have fun as well? Yes. But that means that they're not just one thing. They like to have fun, but they also are hardworking people. Libra, I don't think you'll find a harder worker for making things balanced, making things fair, making things aesthetically pleasing than somebody with a lot of Libra energy. Sagittarius, I mean, come on. If somebody has a lot of Sagittarius energy, there will be so much dedication and hard work to higher level education, to philosophy, to religion, to law, to my gosh, the list goes on and on what they would be dedicated to traveling and, and going out and understanding the bigger issues in the world. Aquarius, give me a break. If somebody has a lot of Aquarius energy, they are kicking butt in technology. They're kicking butt in big questions, big answers that are beyond the scope of most people's normal understanding. Aquarius works in their own way, very, very hard, very diligent working. They're also ruled by Saturn. Come on. Pisces. Pisces gets a bad rap for not working hard. I know people with a lot of Pisces placements that are extremely hard workers. It just matters what they're putting their dedication and work into. They're more dedicated to artistic endeavors, spiritual endeavors. They will work very hard to make everybody feel loved and, and considered and everybody's opinion being heard. And I just don't understand how they can leave these six 
zodiac signs off the list because each zodiac sign works very hard for their particular passion, for their particular gift. True astrology is so much more nuanced than this. It's so much more intertwined with all the archetypes working together. It's it's this beautiful mandala of energies and you can't just pick one piece of energy and 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 rank it in a certain way. There's no way. That's why it's important to learn more about astrology and what is in your particular chart and your energy. Remember, I like you just the way you are. If you ever need help with astrology, you can hit me up and I will talk to you next time.